Let's say you wanted to add your name to your Seesaw assignment. You're going to go over to the T, which means text box, and click on it. You will have a box that comes up. You can type whatever you would like in it. I'm going to type the name Hudson. There's different styles that you can use. Let's play around with them. You can change the color. Over here on the right hand side, you'll see a rainbow of colors and you can click, click, click and change it as you go. So I'm gonna stick with a dark green. And there's other ways you can change the style as well. You click on the three buttons and you'll see at the top it says style. There's different fonts, there's newspaper. If you notice, his name has changed a bit. There's classic, there's feather, there's narrow, there's script, and my favorite, comic. You can also change the way that the box looks. Right now it's filled in because I've clicked on that button. But if I wanted it to not be filled in, I would click the middle one. And so now I see my writing is in color, but the background is clear and it has a box around it that's the same color. If I don't want that box, I can click over on this icon and it'll take the box away. But I kind of like it like this, so I'm going to keep it there. Then if I want it to go to the left hand side, I click that button. If I want it in the center of the box, I click that button. And if I want it on the right hand side, I click that button. Let me show you what that looks like because it's covering it up. So now it's to the right. I'm going to go back and I'm going to put it in the center. The next thing you can do is you can lock your box. So if I want to lock my text box, I click lock all. So now, see how I'm moving the cursor over it and it won't move the object it's because it's locked. I'm going to unlock it. Now I'll click my three buttons and I think I'm going to put a link with my text box. A link will take you to another website. I click link. A little box comes up. I think I want this to go to google.com, so I'm going to go www.google.com. I can paste any website that I want it to go to in there. I need to make sure that I always click the green check mark. Now you know up here that it is linked to google.com. Let's see if it takes us there. Let's go. Oh, there I am. It took me to Google. Maybe I want several of these boxes all over my page. I can push duplicate. Makes another one. I bring it over here. I'm going to duplicate it again. I have it over here. If I want to delete my object, I go down to the bottom and I click delete. 